Greetings everyone, and Gray here of another Company Rose 1 replay. Spawn on the south side as the US forces, we have Brick Top. Spawn on the north side as the Verbock forces, we have a foreign name. So I got additional pioneers. Third squad of pioneers over here for engineers, just two. Engineers reporting. Oh, versus number one Ver. Let's find out. Oh, we got another pioneer. So we got our quadruple pioneers being pulled on out. He's not fighting against British. Wait, is it gonna be some sort of tier one skip? Let's see, he may be doing some fancy. Is this one going for our Wehrmacht quarters? Yes, he is going for our Wehrmacht quarters. So nothing crazy. So four pioneers is quite different. Capture the munitions. Oh, look at this. Munitions, munitions, munitions. So he's eyeing something for munitions. Hmm. Doctrine, flamers, MP40 folks. What do you think he's going to invest in the, uh, into the... With all the munitions grab he's seizing. Because right now he has something in mind. He really wants to feed some hungry guns. Is it going to be doctrinal or non-doctrinal use? Oh, maybe a bunch of landmines. He has pioneers for all the landmines. And that could be very annoying to fight against. Got pioneers now heading for the cutoff point. Pioneers heading for the fuel point. Munitions sector. Completely captured. You'll set to be captured by the engineers. And we've got the rifle squad for spec the pioneers. Not big surprise. You may get the cutoff point. We do have, of course, something. Volks Grenadiers. You may be good idea to send the Volks Grenadiers to protect the cutoff point. Engineers and pioneers saying hi to each other. Engineer says goodbye. Oh, we got a bit of wire there. Is there tank traps as well, or just wire? Just appears to be wire, no tank traps. Good to go. And those the Volkswagen are heading across the right side of the map. Engineers time for this cutoff point. Engineers starting to engage there. And we do have some tank traps being pulled on the field. Tank traps are taking some fire. Now I got the Volkswagen Deers also engaging as well. Engineers take some severe damage. Engineer unit lost. That is correct. The engineer unit has been lost. We do now have the rifle squad inside the garrison. Looks like there's four windows firing right there. Not a bad spot. We got the rifle squad now engaging or running around, being engaged by the Volks engineers and pioneers. We do now have the rifle squad there taking out the tank traps. Both Grandiers a little bit too close, but the Pioneers are nice and close. And I'll have this Rap Squad free forward. Rap Squad takes severe damage here. Falling back now, Pioneer does get wiped out there, but he has replacements. He actually lost. Oh, look, there's the three Pioneers. Two Volks Grenadiers in this region, engaging the rifle squad, keeping them at bay. This Volks Grenadier squad has dropped a model, but only one. And now the Pioneers kept this sector, and she's capturing up this sector. They at least get a decaptured. Maybe not worth it go for a full capture. He does not have the safe sectors at the moment either. So he's a little bit more sudden in income than the Vermont player. Observation posts report we are losing a sector. Got two of the Volkswagen here. One getting hit, the other one also getting hit. Oop, and the Volkswagen squad does fall back. This one's dancing around to some heavy cover there. And the right squad's consuming that Volkswagen deers. And that Volkswagen deer squad does fall back over here. I'm not sure if he has access to the skirmish phase. Vermont sniper to pull on the field, so I good feeling that he's not gotten the skirmish phase just yet. Got a flamethrower here. No flamethrower here. Good it there. Sector is ours, but we're taking fire. Oh, 
my pioneers falling Enemy back and do down. get fully wiped out there. So far, the US player is doing quite well. Fairmox Sucker does get forced on the back. Pioneers, of course, have a bit of trouble versus the rifle squad, but they're only down to three members. MG42 here and unreinforced Volksgrenadiers. Rev squads moving around over here. Still have not seen what that munitions expenditure he was trying to obtain. Oh, there's at least some flamethrowers. Let's fall back with the riflemen. Ready to fight, sir. This rifle squad will capture the fuel sector so now the US player has fuel both the 16 fuel in incomes. So he has his reserves starting to fill. Bars. So that's where he's expending his fuel at first. MG42 moving around. Maybe Ein for just trying to capture the uh, the well, he captured the fuel point. Rifle squad sees a MG42 current captured on ups. Sets on up. And we'll start eating MG42. Good retreat. Realize that's going to be a great engagement. Trial Center. Trial Center not being pulled on out. He does right now have four riflemen, so having a Trial Center on the field will keep them topped off in health. Increasing the longevity. And. Flamer Pioneer will likely get wiped out. Enemy unit down. So another Flamer Pioneer has been wiped on out. I see. Actually, no, he's only down one Pioneer. He lost three Pioneers so far. Private Squad. Force on back. Chance he gets wiped out. Sniper rolls on this. Pioneers. He's pretty wounded. And if Rifle Squad barely escapes on out of there, I'm sort of surprised to escape out of two models, let alone with one. Flame Engineers gets good damage there onto the Volks Grandiers, forcing them back, no problem. lagging out a little bit as I keep on careening off of my mouse because I have to use the arrow keys to move around the camera. There goes that flame engineer instantaneously. In other uh, games I've been using WSD to move around the camera which is very nice for me. But of course computers one you can't rebind hotkeys. I could do something fancy with macros but I never really like that. Rifle Squad does get forced back there. MG42 gets a little bit of pepper there. And oh, looks like we do have a Dr. Lock in. Infantry Company. Rifle Squad now falling back with a landmine here. He could find himself a random sniper. Is that sniper even still alive? Yeah, sniper's over here. Two snipers are here. Front shifting. Crowds are grabbing territory. He's now mining up his opponent's side of the map, and he does not realize it. So he's gone for defense. He does see that rifleman squad laying down landmines. It's gonna be a fish in this area. Oh yeah, the. Uh, Doctrine ability for the points game vision provides a decent amount of vision, doesn't it? Is ready for action. So, he sees that if he is a student enough, he realizes he has gone for defense. Or he could be like me, not a student enough, and realize he's gone for defense. So, he did see that landmine being built. He may have saw... Well, I do not know about the other one, but if he finds one, he'll find both. With a minesweeper. War with his feet. Rifle Squad does get fully wiped out there, dropping off a bar. Rifle Squad picks up a bar. And finds himself some lobotomies. The Rifle Squad will need to fall back. I can wipe out that Pioneer. Folks can just push way forward. Kriegsberg not complete. And does fall back there. And now Pack 3 on the build queue. 
While there's no signs of vehicles being pulled on the field, it's never a bad idea to get that ready to go. Plus, we, he does not have caster vision, so he does not know orders? that there's not any threat any vehicles anytime We're soon. Fortify the, perimeter on command. fortify the perimeter on command, so we've got the base MGs. M14 trying to set him up, but he will get flanked by this rifle squad. Rifle squad engaged in the sniper's close range combat. That one will get wiped out and out. M14 gets wiped out as well. And since he's gone for defense, he can't go for some stun grenades here. Trying to run past the MG42. Get some kills there, but he will likely capture the MG42. Battles there. Did he go for airborne, or what was I seeing there? He's gone for infantry, we know that. So there's some weird shadow effects there catching my eye. We have artillery support on the horn. Tank depot now being pulled on a few. Trial Center providing some good healing. Trunk tank wouldn't be half bad. German crocodile? Now that's too bold of a uh, action. But knowing what the Vero applies at the moment. A uh, Sherman Crocodile is actually feasible at the moment. In fact, Sherman Crocodile with those replies can help him uh, demolish some of these hedges if he so would like. And that landmine does explode. What do you need? Attention. What do you the want? enemy advances. Medic models do go down. There's a strangely placed medic station there. It's good for MG42 to be garrisoned inside, which his he does not have anymore. Make some hits there. Any flame engineers for the US player? No, he does not, so you can't burn that bunker to the ground. There's also you have some Wehrmacht landmines here. The U.S. landmine. No, that's a Wehrmacht landmine. Let's find this one there. So this U.S. landmine has been swept and replaced. It looks like both these landmines. Huh. When did he sweep them? He does have mines here from the field, so he was, was able to uh, sweep them and replace them with his own. Got a double kill, overkill on that one, and the landmine does keep the rifleman at bay. Uh, M242. Wait, why can't I click on it? Wait, why? Why can't I click on him? What is going on? Weapons team ready. What is going on? What? Uh. I don't know what that what, what that MG42 was doing. I think I think this was the other MG42 model there. <laughs> really big time. Ugh. Squad is ready. Well, we do have a fresh M10 on the field. Logistics claims they can support rapid deployment. They claim to support rapid deployment, but in reality, you don't never have the income to really support it. He does find that landmine there and a tank gun, so this M10 is a good as dead. Oh, great mortar hit or artillery hit there. Casualties being reported. But the bunker should go down. It does indeed go down. That's the Veramok MG42. USMG42. Can I click on it? Yes, I can click on it. That's it. Construction finish. Press observation post there. And a fresh landmine from the observation post. And did that on this one here, so that's a 26 fuel post. 
finds a good landmine there. The Vermal players doing some good work with those landmines, that's for sure. Our squads are quite wounded. Good time to get a medic for them. Falls back since the healthy guy squad was getting sniped. We have finished construction. Landmines are pretty good. They're just as effective as most other doctrinal abilities, honestly. Artillery support is now available. You can either spend 150 munitions to force back a group, or you can just put a couple landmines and force back the group that way. Three Vermox snipers now plowed on the field. Maybe we'll see a Sherman crocodile. Soundcraft Center is now finally going on up. He does need a bit of efficiency for infantry and support infantry. Both are in order. He's called gone for defensive, so he can go for a light vehicle efficiency to get some Vet 3 or Veteran Flak 88s. Going for support then for infantry. The point and no three of a kind to get the light vehicle efficiency. Will he actually go for a Sherman Crocodile? As much as I joke about it, it is actually a genuine option this Going after one of our munitions points. Bolt's gonna now falling back. If he sees the efficiency on the infantry and support infantry at the same time, roughly, since he can't get those at the same time, it could get an indication that he's investing his fuel onto the infantry. Pioneer now falling back. He just invested some fuel. Yep, I'm not sure what he passed his fuel on. Whatever building I click on, I don't see it. Ah, M2. So, M2 is now available. And now the pioneers are falling back. M2 against the infantry composition is a good idea. Hit those support weapons quite hard. Pulling out this landmine, finishing it off wouldn't be half bad. A defensive landmine or two is never painful for you. I'll just shoot. Just oh. like that, folks going here got annihilated by that artillery. You got the M2 now firing away. Rifle squads pulling back, not pushing their way forward. Trying to salvage the M10 carcass. Rifles at the ready. To Nicola William, weapons and ammo. The Captain G42 could just be placed in the sector points. to help keep it secure. It's not a bad spot for it if you don't want to be. Using it over here. Rifleman with bars push way forward with some engineers in tow. No munitions for flamethrowers. And now with more and more like cover here, the flamethrowers be a bit more effective. Another bunker here. MP40 squad. Oh, mine super there. He's been hitting large now with landmines, so mine supers would be very useful. Snipers not straight forward. And does get some criticism on that minesweeper. The minesweeper may need, may need to fall back at this point in time. Probably a good, good, good idea to go for a secondary minesweeper. And here comes the M2. Let's get some hits there. Is it just me, or the first barrage could be somewhat explained, being where he's congested, but that seemed a little bit too accurate on the Pac-38. I wonder. The Huns are taking our We've got a number of snipers here. Got the MP-40 Volks decapturing the munitions sector. Pioneers captured the VP. Construction detail. Our work is done here. Grandiers move around with a pan Shrek upgrade. The are He's us. not pulling out any more vehicles at the moment. The M10 was also a really bad choice. He was not fighting against any sort of vehicle. And so just drove to his death. M2 gets a good barrage there on the Grenadiers. Does take it out. 
a cat squad if he catches sectors pretty easy to target. Sniper's on his way forward. Just about the MG42 there. And now the rifle squad's against the crash. The Pac-38 is revealed by hitting the hedge line. It does fall back. Oh, that's you? Sorry. I just had to double check. A little bit of a strange barrage. But the Pac-38 is auto-attacking, revealing its location. Now we've got the rifle squads falling back off a hard shoot to force back the snipers. Enemy unit down. Oh, and there goes that pioneer. And that's one reason why you've been seeing me uh, turn on the uh, on fog of war. I was just curious how the vision range and seeing what he's seeing. Listen up, people. Do now the bunker severely damaged. Act 38 set up right there. M2, of course, on cooldown. Three snipers pushing away forward. M242 set up there. Both trainers pushing forward. Rifle squad is now engaging. But it's there onto the rifleman. M2 nailed that pack 38. Double drop bars here. I guess that was the rifle squad picked up by the bar. Uh, the sniper's now trying to get hit by the M2. They do get dodged the barrage there. The uh, pack 38 does get a hit. Good hit there. I'm just wondering the, that barrage, the. Uh, Heavy infantry was that just blind barrage that happened to be on top of Pack 38? Because that one just looks honestly suspicious to me. MG42 and the Volkswagen is being reinforced. He's setting up the MG42 on that crater, which may hit the rifleman. Now that rifle squad does fall back. Got two bars here. Engineers ready to roll. Line barrages. All right. Sorry, you can see what I'm thinking, right? The one thing you could do is, if you feel like you're going to be engaged, roughly at a location, you can fire a barrage where you think the enemy may be at. But that's just of course luck. Try to draw your enemies into the barrage. Does pick up a bar there and does pick up some lobotomies. Does fall back there. Oh, good hit there. The snipers did fire, and they did get exploded a little bit. MG42 is sitting up inside that house. Right from the squad, is starting to get suppressed there. It's sort of sad that the fact that whenever you see something suspicious like that, you have to assume map hacks, seeing how map hacks are prevalent in this game. Volks Grenadiers now captured the strategic point there. The strategic point being captured up as well by the Grenadiers. And I've got a Sturm Armory here. This player does have bit of munitions in store. Flame Engineers watching the MG42. And now I've got the off my power shoot. Uh, going to either raise that booty to the ground. The Veron player does have munitions for, for the Fatherland. Of course, it is dirt cheap. No Marvin's up on the field. Got a fresh 2 3 4. Already got a 2 3 4 on the field. They also have Veteran Super 1 as well. Rackman Squad is trying to wait for, trying to kill the snipers. He knows he's severely wounded them. Health regen takes time. And the forces do give them more time to health regen. Good amount of MP40 volts, so if those rifle squads keep on trying to run down those snipers, the MP40 volts can get some extra damage to start advancing forward. Another blind barrage there, this time nothing in that region. Box ship is at 
your service. More artillery right there. Oh. I just walk the barrage a little bit. Another two, three, four, sway forward. Notice how factors say two on light vehicles on the way. I think as well, going for say M tens or Shermans to engage these two three fours could be good, but it will also leave a bit more easily to be engaged by Flak eighty eights, which he is getting the veteran see for them. So if he goes for any sort of vehicle to engage these forces. Why keep it a small number to warrant, not warrant a deployment of Flak 88? So, I would say a single Sherman tank. Sherman tanks are robust, able to hit everything. And they can withstand some Pack 38 shots, which actually his opponent does not have any on the field. The Axis are winning the battle. He does have one Panzer Strike here, but I think a single Sherman could do quite well yeah, against his opponent's composition. Won't warrant a Flak 88. May warn a, a pack 38 and maybe some another panda track, but that's about it. Sometimes Puma, ready to I'm pose. trying to think how I would put it. Force the opponent not to do a massive counter to get some Puma, good value out of a single unit. Can be an option. A neutral option, but an A option. Right now the Vermont player does has less fees less fee piece than his opponent. Yeah, the two, three, four, Soro oh, just thanks. sitting in the archway, like a dog sticking his head out of a window, right? You have a fresh M10 that can help him gauge those two, three, fours quite well, and will probably not warrant any additional counter being employed on the field. Uh, never mind. There's a pack 38 before you pull the M10, but a single M10 can work around a pack 38. And some will work around a pack 30 and a pack track. MP42, however, does suppress the entire formation. Now the M2 is going to try to explode it because one decent hit there will destroy the gun. Oh, and got a, another house barrage right there. Soft on the front line. Force is still getting hit a little bit. M2 gets destroyed by the M10, look like. The uh, MP42. It's not sure live, which a decent amount of health. The Yankees are grabbing our territory. We now have defensive artillery. Rest of artillery now being available. That Goliath sounds like a uh, not Goliath. M10 sounds like a Goliath to me. I always hit the reuse sound effects in Go One. I'm one who needs unique sound effects. Amstruck does pose a threat to the Greyhound, not Greyhound, M10. Yes, and additionally, with a Panzer Faust of boot, that can probably take out the M10. And now there's a Flak 88. Okay. I was going to say, going for a small amount of armor could warrant your opponent not to pull out a large amount of counters. But never mind. One M10 did warrant a large amount of counters. Though there's a second M10 on the field. But now it's a Flak 88, Pack 38, and a Panther Shrek. Another Barrage. He's been sitting around there quite often, so that's actually a reasonable blind Barrage location. It's also barraging this area. He has some decent hits there, forcing him back. Rack Squad's with three forward, Flame Engineers as well. Pack 38 starting to get hit. Good hit, or good miss there onto the 2-3-4. Off of power shoot also running on in. Get a good hit there that round. Not good hit that round. Losing territory. And these forces do fall back, and now he knows the flat KD8 on the field. He does have this VP nice and secure all this entire game. And the 742 is doing a good job of keeping it that way. Even though he's not done a good job because he didn't have to do his job. But maybe just trying to play around this VP is the time frame. So all the US player need to do. Artillery reporting. 
Yeah, probably a good idea not to go for any additional armor. Both supply yard upgrades now researched. Uh, it looks like the MG42 is falling down. Though, doesn't need to worry about getting out Grenade Warfare. Got a bunker here. Could be for a repair bunker, could be for a cash recovery bunker. Definitely not for an MG bunker. Looks like some barrage here and here. Rack squad now push way forward. Grandier is taking some hits. And do have a ski bomb there. Off the power shoot also running on in. He has 60 munitions income, which is quite significant. What if there's a uh, yeah, I think I see some munitions cash there. 234 has engine crit there, taking some pens there, M10 straight forward. Get some miss there. Black 88 is crude. Wounded, but crude. In fact, right now, could be get some medical kits to get healed up. 234 taking another hit there. M10 has plenty of health. No longer has plenty of health. And we do have repair bunker here. Oh, nope, that's not a repair bunker. And that's just pioneers dancing right there. There's a repair bunker. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm wondering what he should deploy on the field, but I realize he's also pretty high in population, so maybe not he may not be able to afford to deploy out anything else. If anything could be useful, it's probably a third M2. An M1 AT gun will have trouble versus the Black 88, but the Black 88 destroys AT guns. But if that Black 88 goes down, an M1 AT gun could be very useful. And here's some big hits there, and there goes the M10. May get another shot off? It does not. Crap Squad's not falling back. Off a power shot on the black on the pack 38, the black 80 is using on map house shoots, and the uh pack 38 rolls forward. Yep, I haven't had time. Yep, you do have a two munitions observation posts. Gonna go for a third and feed those hunger guns. We're losing ground out there. Let's see, some manpower just got consumed by oh, just reinforcements. Five command points is probably enough for off map combat groups, but not having that selectivity allows you to see the experience tickers pop up of your barrages, which is also important. And since you're not going to make immediate usage of the manpower for off map combat groups without the population, even an unselected for now will be just fine. And tend to get some hits there. This guy always spams uh, FTF. L and snipers and pumas versus infantry plus uh, 88s. Act resets versus tanks, so the plan was always to artillery and death. Ah, got it. There goes those pioneers and the carcass. Deployed main snipers in the field. As well as these two on the field. 17 kills and 19 kills. They've been mostly held in reserve. Race artillery being brought in on this mission sector. And 10 should be forward. These guys are fully repaired. Act 38 resetting on up. Flak 88 is fully destroyed. And there's the pack abuse bug. Rolls a miss there. The grateful fatherland and the glorious struggle. Elite vehicle now complete. Puma. Guardia squad at full complement. Heavy recon here. Puma here. Yeah, Puma here. Puma here. Thank you. 
I should see veteran one, veteran two, Rocket Squad push way forward. And you have the trouble. Good try to get Sticky Bomb off this guy. Does not. And Soul Ball just getting ripped apart right now. So this is, yeah, good spot for M2. Off of power, Sir Barrage being brought on in front of him. Ready to go forward. And the M2, at least one is firing. He could try throwing another M2 barrage right around no, here and just try to ad hoc creep and barrage. Fresh artillery being brought on in. Bring on over here, which was not a really great spot there. He cruises the pack 38 with his own Register artillery. The BP is now decaptured. The medic trying to bring back a casualty. That will not get him free squad. Of course, you can never really tell that easily. And I've got the 234 is moving around. <coughs> Decapture at the VP or the strategic point. US player needs one another munitions worth from a minute worth of munitions to get a flak, uh, another off a of power shoot. And need another mission's worth of income to get registered artillery. E34 is creeping the way forward. And we've got these rock squads pushing the way forward. Flame engineers burning the uh, pack 38 who recruit with pioneers. A couple sticky bombs there on that guy. Macy M2 brush here is fully mobilized. Rock squad charging with four, make one for another. Stick bomb does get stick bomb there. And with the M10 firing away, gets good damage and also fully mobilized. That one does go down, MP40 folks, and double. Oh! There goes that double pan Shrek Grenadier. Taking that out allows the M10 free reign. I don't think there's any AT left remaining. Yes, he has a pack 38 right there. Engaging. The pack abuse bug, and there goes the M10. Another flak idiot being pulled out as well. Damage and crit on this M or 234. This one only has the damage and crit. Oh, wait. No, it has a destroyed and crit. Wait. Does it have damage or destroyed and crit? I see sometimes red, sometimes yellow. It looks, looks looks like a damage and crit, but there goes that two three four. Black and eight now complete. It's more the fact that they never patched it, and nor patching it, nor uh, relic ever does band waves anymore for this game. Register artillery not coming on in. There goes the 2-3-4. artillery just running on in. It is more in time. The pack abuse bug. Bug usage is just basically on the honor system now for this old game. I suppose somebody could release some uh, balance mod to try to rectify those bugs. But then you have to ask people to adopt it. But once you start fixing stuff, you mean some people start trying to balance stuff like myself. So... And sometimes people don't want the balance the fixes, they only want the bug fixes. MP40 folks making their way down south, got two snipers in tow with a pioneer. And it's, yeah, just sportsmanship. This game has a big issue with map hackers. Yeah. Rockman squad to the Captain Mission Sector. Twenty centimeter rocket barrage now available. The Alpha Com Group has not been selected. He does not have the population supported either way. Third M2 now point of field was already in Vesture C1. Rifle squads, flame engineers, 34, 234, gets some good engagements. Do not have four of the fall one activated. Sizers fall back away from that. The VP is currently kept by the Vermont player, so the use player is starting to count down on VPs. It is slightly behind. And now that the Ack or Flak 88 
We're seeing some artillery. The Huns are taking our enemies. Oh, right Rifling squad can sign the garrison. Front shift. Command Conquer Generals have played often in Game Ranger and surprisingly it's still active. Fun of uh, map packs and people break the rules. Sounds about right. I know. I think there's uh, some bug patches, at least for Supply King's Wrath. We have there's been some bounce and bug patches, community patches, fire! but sometimes people like adopting them, some people don't like adopting them. Yeah. I mean, there's also some. Some of these people are considered broken this game. Personally, I don't like the design of the one-man sniper, both Cup Heroes 1 and Cup Heroes 2. And many tournaments usually have limited, like, max of two snipers in the field at a time. Rules as well. It's just... Yep. I'm gonna leave it at that. A good amount of stick bombs there on E234. It's fully mobilized. It is somewhat full with a small inspire. It does gun down there. Black idiot firing away. There on the flak 88 does get the crew there he could try capturing up for his own purposes it's probably not that useful he's only playing against infantry and snipers are quickly the crew it yep and auto match is probably the most common mode because it's simple easy and you don't have to find people. Good hit there. More artillery running on in. Sniper is now engaging. They're starting to get overran. Does hold them back now. Lewis is starting to do some squads over here. He's taking some severe damage. Right here's one weapon drop there for the Fallen Land now activated. The sniper does connect. Now we've got the Grandier squad falling back. Folks, Grandiers take some fire. Camouflage pack 30, backing on off. Folks, Grandiers take some damage. And now the squad is going around catching some sectors now. The Baromach player is taking massive hits there. He's trying to push over along the flank. Enemy unit down. But the MG42 is still in this region, doing a good job. But the snipers will displace him quite easily. We got a single Volksgrandier there, so the Baromach player may be out of manpower. Yeah, he's out of manpower. At this point, I don't think the Baromach player can get back in the game. He's just so low on manpower. Artillery is just going to whittle down what manpower he generates. There goes that sniper. We have 234 charging down the center of the map. He does not have enough, enough munitions for a 28 centimeter rocket barrage. Uh, and that's why you get defensive landmines. The damage can crit there. Rock Squad can go forward and get a stick bomb to it. He may lose the to see. And there you go, he backs on the game now. And so, yeah, he's backed out of the game. And that is the end of replay. This is Anchorade saying thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.